any way that you can screw up someone's life over the internet happened to me. Like, they found my home address, my phone number, they sent threats, they, they stalked me. Some people actually paid money for a PI to stalk me and post information on Twitter, uh, talking about sending people to dig through my trash, putting dead animals in my mailbox. Uh, then they targeted my family, anybody close to me, anybody accused of being close to me, all over a completely fake, uh, made-up claim that I had uh, exchanged sex for a review for my free game about mental health from someone who never reviewed my game. And it started out just in gaming spheres, but um, when people like Neil Yiannopoulos uh, decided to jump on that bandwagon, it sort of rocketed into the, more of the mainstream consciousness and uh, put me more in direct line of harm. Ultimately, um, I could have written a book that was like just detailing all of the ridiculous stuff that went down, and that, that would have been fine. But that's not why I wrote it. I wrote this book because I want to address that question of like, what do we do about this? And because I want to elevate other voices that are not given platforms like the one I currently have that uh, would otherwise be excluded from the conversation or forgotten about. I do not want to be the face of online harassment. I do not want to center the conversation on myself. So it's very much about using it as, a, my experience, as a lens to look at how and why this happens on a cultural level, as well as the entire second half of the book being uh, inside trying to change things and offering practical advice um, for individuals on what to do if they're targeted, what to do if someone they know is targeted, and how to take basic precautions and you know, really pragmatic and practical advice on how to sort of head this off in the past and, and answer that question of what do we do now very or at least start that conversation in a good direction. There's like a big bucket of what we refer to as trolling now. Uh, back in the day, it was like not necessarily what we see today. Like the, in the early internet, it was like being aggressive and harassing people was more called flaming. Trolling was like being obviously disingenuous, like to a comedic value, not to a threatening one. You know, so it'd be like. Oh, uh, how do I close this application on my computer? It's like, have you tried hitting Alt F4, which is a hotkey that closes, uh, like that will like shut stuff down and stuff like that. Um, that's trolling uh, in the classical sense. Now it's like we're including stalking and threatening and things like swatting, which is like trying to uh, call in to police saying that there's some build somebody building a bomb at your home address in the hopes that they'll dispatch a SWAT team. You'll think it's a home invasion and resist and get shot in the process, basically murder by proxy. Um, that is not trolling, that's abuse. And I try to make a very clear distinction in my book that there's a very big difference between the two. If you're a small business owner or an independent artist and you don't have an internet presence and you're not already established, that is a hell of a choice you're making. Stuff can happen online that affects your offline life, regardless of if you're present for it or not. Like it's, it, if I had shut off, if I had like gone out to a cabin in the woods when all of this was happening to me, my dad would still be getting death threats because I have no control over that. What I've started to call digital hygiene, of like being a better online citizen, and, and furthermore, teaching people how to not inadvertently uh, be a tool in someone else's abuse because it's very easy to be caught up in false information or you know you send one shitty comment to someone and you don't think about the fact that for you it's like one thing that you did and forgot about, but this person is seeing just a flood and a cascade that you are part of. And owning the fact that you can have that, you can be part of that is, is, a, is an important thing. And I feel like uh, we've got this amazing tool in the internet that we haven't quite figured out what it means for everybody now. And this is a crucial part of it. But I think we're still at the point where the, the, the question is, now what? And uh, that's essentially what my book is trying to address in addition to just sort of exposing how this stuff works systemically.